What is going on guys and girls, my name is Ryan Gilf and today we've got for you a new series. Basically, we pick one or two players that I think are very underused on this game, but are still fairly decent players. So, today we're going to eventually get to those players, but I've built a pretty overpowered squad around it. Before the video starts, be sure to check out UtiCoins for you. A link to their website and a discount code will be in the description below, as always. In goal we've got Joe Hart, one of the most inconsistent goalkeepers on the game. He's so frustrating, one time he'll be really good and pull off a very good reflex save. And then the next time he'll be getting scored on from like 40 yards out. And very frustrating player on the game, but that's just my personal preference with him. I would have rather have used Petr Cech because he is the most overpowered BPL goalkeeper on the game. As you can see we've got company, centre back, there isn't really a lot wrong with company, pretty solid all round, 86 rated as you would expect. We've got the upgraded Koscielny now, I usually go for the normal version of Koscielny because I can't really tell the difference and today proved pretty much the same, I couldn't really tell much difference between him and his other card of course, it's only a rating of 2 but to some people it matters, to me though it didn't really matter much. We've got Bakary Sanya on the right hand side, I think I could have used any um, French BPL player there. I don't think there are many. I could have used him or is there anybody else from Arsenal right back that's that's a gold? I don't actually know. I think Jenkinson's a silver. So we've got Pocagnoli on the left hand side. This is where the hybrid kind of takes effect. This guy is from the German league and he was a pretty standard left back to be honest with you. There was nothing amazing about him. We're going to go for another chemistry player here now. We've got I think his name is Salcedo. He was the defensive side of my two central midfielders. He did put in a pretty decent shift, he's got 5 star weak foot so he's pretty good for passing the ball left foot right foot and he had an ok shot on him, but didn't score any goals with him but I was basically putting him in the squad to make sure he kept the midfield nice and tight and he could put some tackles in there. This is one of the first players that I think is one of the underrated, he is amazing, for, for a silver that's rated that low he has got some insane stats, I'm going to leave a link to his um, foothead um, page in the description below so you can see them but he is brilliant four star weak foot four star skill moves got loads of brilliant stats this is the next guy we've got Aquino Aquino I don't know how to say that Aquino is how I would say it tell me if I'm wrong because I'm not very good with pronouncing these Mexican players but again 90 pace absolutely fantastic hidden gem both of these players are hidden gems really liked using them they're basically what I built the squad around and I wish I could spend more time on them but we're going to move on to the left midfielder now and it's Gadrado and I really did not like him I think if there was any way of using Dos Santos instead he's a left midfielder who's Mexican I would have rather have used him. That goal was by Koscielny, by the way, and it's assisted by Guadrado, and that's the only goal I got of him. This is the main man, though, himself. We have got Lobos, and he, he got a fairly decent amount of goals. He got two goals, and he got one assist. This should have been a goal, and it would have been a contender for one of the best goals I've scored. But he's got a nice skill run. He's got four-star skill moves, and I believe he's got four-star weak foot as well. So a lot of these players are very impressive. These hidden gems are very good. You could pick up this guy for as little as 350 coins. I converted him to a centre-forward, and I really enjoyed using him there. One of the main reasons I wanted to use this guy is because he's got a high-low work rate, which means he's going to be very attacking. And as you can see by the goals to score with him, he's always very far up the pitch. Really enjoyed using him, guys. I would suggest that you try him out at least once in this game. Maybe not in this squad because the squad was lacking in some areas. I think I should have had a more defensive centre mid than Salcedo because his work rates are medium, medium or high, high. I can't really remember. And we've got Carlos Vela as a striker. He was good, but I think I used him in the wrong type of role. I used him as a central forward on his own. I should have used somebody else as more of a target man so I could get the other midfielders and the wide men in play. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this episode. This series is new. Let me know what you think about it. I basically picked a very random, underused team. I really like the look of this team, though. Like It's specifically those free gems, really good free gems. I'd advise you try them out in some random squad. You guys know what squads you like anyway. Can we hit 300 likes for the start of a new series? It'd be absolutely amazing if we did. And give me your opinion on this series. And give me some players to use next time. So anybody that you want that you think is underused. For example, Kevin Karan. You used that example earlier in a video. That was um, a 25k pack opening. The special packs. If you have missed that, a link to that will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. If you're, if you're watching that after being sent from this video, remember to leave a comment on that. Saying that I sent you from this previous video if that makes sense 